Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be packing my makeup bag for my trip to Mexico. I am leaving here in two days. So I decided to pack up my makeup bag today. I'm going to pack up my clothing as well. So tomorrow I could just chill. I have some extra work to do, some editing, things like that. So I thought I would do it now so I could film it for you guys and you can see what I'm bringing with me. I would just like to say I got my nails done yesterday and how pretty. I did like a fade, like a pink and white fade with a glitter nail and a little gem. I showed in my vlog recently that I had this Dashing Diva press-on kit and it was like this exact situation and I was like I love this and I think I'm gonna go to the salon and ask for this specific thing and that's exactly what I did and that's what it came out to be and I think it's really cute this nail is a little bit longer than I would like but you know sometimes that happens where they're like not perfect but for the most part I think they came out good they're not too long but I still struggle to get into the eyeshadow pots and things but you know this is as short as they could go with the shape that I wanted so whatever if you are new here hi my name is Jamie I do beauty videos several times a week if you like all things makeup and beauty I would love it if you subscribe before you go and if you guys want to see what's in my makeup beauty bag then keep on watching <laughs> give you my beauty mess so I have narrowed down all of the products that I'm bringing I actually have been trying and testing all of these products under heated conditions since I am going to Cancun and it is very hot in humid over there so I have everything already selected this is the makeup bag. I've showed you this in the last one. I got this on Amazon. I'm sure you've seen these. They have removable inserts so that you can customize it. Yeah, you can customize the little compartments. And so I've already done that. So I'm just going to basically show you what in, I'm bringing in every category. So we'll start with the face. For primer, I am bringing the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I think makeup sits beautifully on top of this and it's hydrating also. So I, I opted to go with this because when I was testing it, the combination between this and the foundations was just beautiful. I am bringing my Poreless Putty as well. And the two foundations that I opted for was one, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And then this is the CoverGirl True, True Blend Matte Made in the shade Deep 60. So as you can tell, this is way too dark for me. However, what I brought this particular shade for was for mixing because my skin tone is going to change as I get more tan. So I wanted to have something dark enough that it could adjust my foundation to any level I needed it to. And the reason that I went with this particular foundation is because it is a long wear foundation and this one is not. So when I tested these two together, this one made this one last a heck of a lot longer without breaking up. So I this was a winning combo and I tried a lot of different combos. I, I tried using my Urban Decay all nighter foundation and it just wasn't it with this combo so this was the combo that that won and then of course my charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter i'm bringing that so i can make sure i have a glow and then for cream bronzer i'm bringing the l'oreal infallible Longwear shaping stick i've recommended this a bunch it is falling apart and i tried to buy a new one and i can't find this anywhere does anyone know if this is discontinued because this is literally the best product for cream bronzing because it's a foundation stick and it just melts into the skin but it's a long wear shaping stick so it lasts forever. So it's so good to do cream contour or cream bronzing, should I say. This is the shade Coco. So I use this for cream bronze. And then uh, my concealer, I'm bringing the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer because, well, it's waterproof and lasts forever. 
and it is the one that I tested that that outwore every single thing else that I tried in my collection. Um, I have two shades here. I have cashmere and pecan, so I can, you know, adjust as my skin tone adjusts or changes. I do have this tinted eye brightening eye cream from Replenix. I did an Instagram post with them. I love this stuff. I'm using it every single day. And also I've been bringing the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint in Peach. These two are keeping my under eyes hydrated and bright. So I love those for powders. So I'm of course bringing my Urban Decay Ultimate Brush Off Powder, which is now discontinued and I don't have that much left and I'm horrified. But I don't want to bring anything else because I know this never does me dirty. So it is what it is. And then this I actually got from YesStyle. This is a K-Beauty brand. This is the Eclipse Blur Powder. And this stuff is magical. And I like putting this like on spots that I just want to brighten up a little or blur out a little because it is pretty light. But it comes in handy if there's like a darkness on my face and I just want to blur it out. It works really well for that. Okay, so those are my powders. For blush, I am bringing the Milani Cheek Kiss in Nude Kiss. This is, I, I can't live without this. And then I'm bringing the Hula Glow. I did bring this, these two on my last trip. I just am loving both of them. So I'm bringing those. ColourPop Brow Styling Wax. This is a fresh one. I just opened it. So pretty. And um, bringing that. Oh, the other concealer that I am bringing is from Lancome. This is the Tante Idole Ultra Wear. This is an all over concealer, so you can wear this as a, a foundation as well, but this is my wrong shade. So I'm returning this on Sunday for my right shade. This is supposed to not crease. I've been trying it out, but it's tough because I have the wrong shade. So I am gonna bring it and I'm going to, I guess, roll the dice there. I have the Liquid Camouflage Under Eye Primer from Catrice. This helps with creasing on the under eyes. So I'm gonna bring that, because I'm probably gonna be dehydrated. The Jason Wu Eye Primer is amazing for eyeshadow, so I'm bringing that. My Lily Lashes Lash Glue. Two lip liners, both are L'Oreal Color Riche. One is Matte Sit, one is Matte Stir Mind. I actually really wanna just buy another Matte Sit and bring two of them. I'm just worried that I'm gonna lose one and then I'm you know, I'll be asked out if I don't have two, so I'm bringing two. Then I have the Moni Waterproof Eye Pen. This was another K-Beauty Yes Style um, item, and it's so good. And then I have the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen, both staples. Mascaras, okay, so I'm so extra. So I'm bringing um, the Essence Volume Boost Lash Primer, which is amazing if you haven't tried it. It is so good. And then I'm bringing two mascaras, the Il Maquillage Black Card Mascara and the Kevin Aquan Indecent Mascara. The reason I'm bringing these two, I like two mascaras, but I ran out of my Maybelline Sky High. And so the combination, well, this one works, you know, as good as the Maybelline, but it's just a higher price point. And then this one also works really well, so I just figured I would have two of them, you know, just in case. I have a travel size all-nighter. It's a must. And I am bringing a Benefit 24-hour brow setter just in case it's the humidity is too much for the ColourPop to do its job. I'm not sure like how it's gonna do in that level of humidity, so I am bringing this just in case. Okay. So I'm bringing the um, Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm face palette. I love this. It's new to me, but I love it so much. So I'm bringing it because I feel like being bougie. And then this is a new product that I recently tried and was absolutely blown away by. This is from a brand called Belle en Argent. And it is an eyeshadow palette. It is their plum premonition eyeshadow palette but like this these shimmers are like so gorgeous so I'm like yeah I'm totally gonna bring this palette like that's what's on my eyes right now I don't know if you can see and it's just a really fun 
purpley toned palette and the shimmers are just gorgeous. So, all right. So speaking of eyeshadows, I did a thing. So I love this palette, but one of the reasons I got it was so that I could mix and match with the bronze palette and the Zendo palette because I just, I love all the palettes, but I just feel like they're all missing something. So I decided to make my own. And here's what I came up with. So I took Magma and Deep Dive and Silk from the Bronze Palette. So these three shades here. Then I took Zeal and Sense from the Zendo Palette. And I took out whatever was there, which were like more silvery cool tone shades. And I just added a little bit of warmth to this palette to make it more well-rounded. So I can do really warm looks, I can do cooler looks, I can do neutral looks. So to me, just swapping out a handful of shades, how many? One, two, three, four, five. I swapped out five shades, is that right? Yeah, three from bronze and two from Zendo. And that was just enough to make this palette like more well-rounded, I guess. Like this is, this is perfection to me. Like I would buy this palette just like this. <laughs> Clearly I bought three of them to make this. I didn't know that going in that these were, this is what I was going to do. But when I was doing it, I was like, well, yes, this makes total sense to me because of the looks that I was thinking I would do with it. And because Glam has so many of those shimmery champagne colors, I just, I needed to have it in my collection. So she's coming with me. And then I am, this is so random. I, I wasn't planning this. This was a very impulse situation. I was putting something away in my drawer and I remembered that I used to bring this, this was my go-to travel face palette for like years. It obviously it's from Becca. This was a, a holiday collection, but the colors that that they put in here, this top row is everything. It's got um, bronzed Bondi, their um, sunlit bronzer. It's got opal, and then it's got their luminous blush in what is it called? Blushed copper, which is a stunning blush. And you know, I'm just thinking tropical island tan. This blush is so pretty. And then this bronzer is a staple, can't go wrong. And the reason why I decided to do this is because I feel like these are more punchy than the Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury is more soft and subtle, which there's a time and a place for, and I may want that. But if I want to amp it up and go uber bold and glam, I feel like this would be awesome to have. Plus it gives me another blush and another highlight I would wouldn't really use this middle shade, but this other highlight is, is really nice too. This is a more rose gold highlight. Oh, that was a terrible swatch. And you know, as I tan up, I might want something a little deeper. This lighting is, leaves a lot to be desired. But anyway, that was the point, you know, of throwing this in and it was kind of an impulse situation. So usually I would put my brushes in this little pocket, but I decided to put my palettes in there instead. And then I'm gonna put some lashes. These are just ones I got on Yes Style. And I like these because I cut them in half. And the way that they're shaped, because the flare is in the center, if I cut it in half, each side can be a half lash. So one lash is actually two lashes. It's, they're perfect for just a half lash at the end of my eye to just give me a little lift, which I really like. So I'm just bringing these and they fit right in there. I don't need that many, but whatever, it's fine. So then for lipsticks, oh, I forgot these eye toppers. So I'm bringing two eye toppers. This one is from Yes Style. Um, this is the Dazzling Light Eyeshadow Mousse. And it is gold and so gorgeous. And this looks really pretty in the day with just like bronzer in the crease and sweeping this all over the lid. And also as a topper, like to amp up the sparkle of your eye look. 
And then this one's from Bodyography. This is one of my fa all time favorites. This is called Sparkler. And this, I have nails, so this is gonna be fun. And I tried to get my nails to be not that long, but still I'm having trouble. I don't know if you can see what that just did, but it is so pretty. It's like, I don't know, it reminds me of New Year's Eve. It's just the most reflective, sparkliest, beautiful topper shade that I've ever seen in my life. So I'm bringing that because I feel like the Natasha Denona shadows don't quite have this much punch, like the, sh the shimmers. So if I want to like up, like level them up, you know, and then, um, I am bringing this liner from Charlotte Tilbury. It's, um, the super nudes liner duo. It has a nude shade on one side and a deep chocolate Brown on the other. And I thought this is all I'll ever need in my waterline one or the other. So that's fine. So I'm bringing that and then the lips. Okay, so <laughs> this was from YesStyle. This is a, kind of like a lip mousse. It's called the lip blur and you just kind of pat it out on the lips and it gives you like popsicle lip vibes. And I think that'll be perfect for like the pool, you know, where I just want a touch of color, but it's like not going to melt because it just blurs out on the lips and just gives you that hint of color. So I love that. I am bringing this Wet n Wild um, Mega Matte Lipstick in Skinny Dipping, which is like, you know, one of my faves. And I'm not bringing Safe Word because she's the last one I have left and I can't, I just can't do it. Um, and then I have these three lipsticks from Essence. One is bold, they're all nude obviously. One is bold, this one I just got in my recent vlog. One is loyal, and these are supposed to be semi-matte, but I feel like they kind of wear like a cream, more like a cream. And then legendary, these are $4 lipsticks that perform like high-end. And this is my uh, array. I have something very cool toned, something more neutral, two that are more neutral and then one that's a little bit warmer. So I can mix and match these and get a lot of different situations. The Wet n Wild is super, super matte. So that's why I brought that one because a lot of times that's what I want. I want a matte lip. So that's what's happening. And I have two sponges that have to be cleaned. One is from Tarte and the other is from e.l.f. This is for my bronze, my cream bronzer. And then this is for my foundation concealer. So that is that. And then of course, a pencil sharpener. Here's what I'm doing for my brushes. I have this Luxie carrying case and I decided this would be good anyway because when I have my get, like, get ready station there, I'll have a place to put my brushes. Um, so here's what I decided to bring. So I don't know what this brand is. Oh, it's called LaRousse. And I became acquainted with this brand through my Ipsy Glam bag, but I love these brushes. And I've gotten a few different sets of them in different Ipsy Glam bags, and they're just such high quality. And I have no concept of the price point. I need to look into them a little bit more. But I decided to go with them because I don't know. I've been playing with them this, these past few days and I just really love what I'm getting from them. So I decided to go ahead and pack them. So I've got their flat powder brush that I'm actually using to blend out my, um, my cream bronzer. So I blend it out with this and then I use the black sponge to, you know, just make sure that it's nice and blended. This one is the LR360 Tapered Face that I've been loving for bronzer, regular bronzer. This is the Contour Blending, but I've been using this for powder. We're just setting under the eyes. And then this, the LR309 is the blush. And the LR308 is for highlighter. I am going to be bringing the Haley's Powder Brush for my all over face powder. And this is the Base Blue, it's from Base Blue. I don't know what the name of this brush is called, but I love this for my cream blush. 
So I use this with the Milani and it just gives me a great application in two seconds. So I love that one. And then I'm just bringing one du like small duo fiber just in case I need it for like extra blending situation. And that's my face brushes. Oh, and then my, um, this is my Luxie foundation brush for applying my foundation all over my face. This is my spatula for mixing my foundations. I have a spoolie that I need to clean for my brows. And then, let's see, oh, this is another one of those LaRousse brushes. This is a flat shading brush, and I'm taking this for mixing my concealer or applying my eye brighteners under my eyes. Um, and then I have another tapered blending from LaRousse, and I just really like this for extra blending. Then I have my staples. So I have my Morphe brush that I always talk about that was in a holiday collection several years ago that is my staple brush. I can't live without it. It's the best brush ever and they don't sell it as a single. So there's that. Then I have the Morphe R39, which I did think was a dupe, but it's definitely not. The bristles are completely different. Um, the R39 is much stiffer br bristles than this one. So, um, Anyway, I use this one to apply and this one to blend and it's a dream team. So I can't, I can't live without that. This is from Alter Ego. It's just their crease blender brush. And I love this because it's a tapered blender. And this is really great on those days where I just want to throw some bronzer right in the crease and go. This one does it. It just, it's a nice wash of color in the crease. So brought that. This brush here is a Luxie large shader and this I is what I like to use for this blur powder. I just will dip this in and tap the product wherever um, and I really like doing it like that. So I got that brush for that. Then I have the Luxie Concealer Brush. This is the only thing I use to put shimmers on my lid because it just picks them up beautifully I, I i don't know why it is the best brush for applying um products on the lid like shimmers on the lid then this brush i like to use for applying color to my brow bone and this brush i use for cutting my crease both are from that morphe holiday collection as well i don't know if they sell these as singles i need to get my hands on another one of those as backup then this brush is a domed, almost pencil, but like more fluffy. So this is a pencil brush. This is from Mac. I've had it for 9,000 years. I don't even know what the number is because it's all worn out and it's bent and beat up, but it's the long, the brush I've had the longest. It's OG. If this, like, if you were wondering if Mac brushes are worth it, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> This one's from BH, this one's from MAC, and they're different, but I like them for the lower lash line. This one for the outer corner when I wanna get close to the lash line, and then this one for kind of smoking out the lower lash line. Do I have a brush for like every single thing that I do with makeup? Yes, but I'm not gonna be cleaning my brushes probably for the entire time I'm there, so. I just feel like if I have one brush for multiple things, it's gonna get messy real quick, you know? So, only thing is, it's hard to close these without bending the bristles. I'm trying like not to mess the brushes up and it's not easy because this is stuffed. <laughs> it's fine. So that is the deal. And then I have a headband for protecting my hairline because I always get makeup in my hairline. I have makeup wipes. These are just from Walmart. Oh, I forgot that I'm packing these tools as well. I have a palette for mixing. I have a tweezer and then one for applying lashes, a lash curler, and a little pair of scissors for cutting lashes and things. So those will go in this little pocket here. And then the last thing 
makeup related, I picked up on Amazon and it, this is a makeup mirror. It's the size of an iPad. It's this pretty pink color. Here's the on off switch. And what you do is it flips open like this. Here I am, hello. And then you can turn it on here and it has different like um, color settings. So you got a cool, a warm, and then like a neutral for different scenarios. And it just sits just like this, which is so awesome because, you know, you can just close it up and it packs so easy. And then it has a little charger that you can plug into a USB or like if you have a power adapter like I do for your cell phone or whatever, you can just bring one of these and it's a universal, like it's one of those universal micro USBs. So it can charge a lot of different things. But anyway, so that's coming also. So this is it. So I'm pretty much wearing all of the products that I packed on my face right now. I mean, with the exception of, you know, the eyeshadows and I'm like, obviously all the different lipsticks I'm not wearing, but the base products are all on my face right now. Like I just did kind of, I don't wanna say a trial run, but like I am been testing every single day, the longevity mixing and matching and all of that. So. Today when I put these eyeshadows on, I was like, yeah, this palette has to come with me. It was like a last minute decision to pack that palette. But I didn't have any purples in the Natasha Denona palette, obviously, so I just thought it was a nice complement to the Natasha Denona mixture and it's little and it was easy to just throw in there. So that is it for my Mexico trip makeup bag. Um, if you would like to follow along my trip, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I will be posting on IG stories and also on TikTok. I'm going to be posting content over there, provided I have service, which fingers crossed. And if you would like to see me pack the rest of my stuff, you can stay tuned for my September vlog, which I will be filming right now as soon as... I turn this camera off and go eat dinner. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you never miss when I upload a video. You can follow me on social. My handle's at Glam Latte. Don't forget the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast is everywhere you listen to podcasts. All those details are in the description box down below. I am going to be doing an episode discussing all the things in this makeup bag. Further. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. I just want to hold you. I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I